Okay, welcome back YouTube. Um, thanks for putting up with me uh, for 10 minutes. I appreciate you guys giving me your time. Putting it back together. Okay, these cords, feed them in here. Okay, just, doesn't have to be perfect. Just get in there, that's good. Okay. It's a lot easier when you have two hands. So if it looks like I'm struggling, I am, but don't worry, it's not that bad. Okay, down here, you're going to have to take these two cords, the uh, USB and the power of the Molex connectors, and pull them out. So that way when you push drive back, they don't get crumpled and pinched in the back here. Okay, it's okay. like that, alright? Now, push this in. And once you push it in, it's going to fall... I'll do it again for you. Once you push it in, it's going to fall into place. Okay? So when, if it falls into place, you know you got it right. Let's try this again. Uh, okay. So as you can see, now it's stuck again, right? If you notice that this is not flush, it's because your drive tray is not properly seated. Um, I'm going to move this so you can see. Hopefully you can see underneath there. You got that little bolt. You see that little hole right there? Right there you go that's your guides okay that'll explain where your where your drive has to sit before you screw it in do not screw it in until your drive is properly seated and flush all right working from the back take your molex two connectors small and big plug it into the one that fits if you're not sure try them out <laughs> doesn't fit good Okay, that's good. USB uh, right here. Okay, good. All right, now, like I said, make sure that this is flush with the system before you screw it in. Okay. Now I get my screwdriver here. I'm gonna start with that screw in the back here. That's good. The screw goes here. If you're wondering, it's the Phillips, the long screw. Okay, it's like so. I've been in this machine so many times. As you can see, I'm starting to strip the screw. The reason I'm stripping the screw is because when I'm using the wrong screwdriver, okay? It's very hard to get the right size screwdriver that can fit in here, at least with my tools. I don't have the best tools. If you got a lot of tools on hand, you shouldn't run into this problem, but I unfortunately do, so. Long screw. Again, check your drive. Okay, you heard that? Did you hear that? It just clicked into place. Yeah, it wasn't in place earlier. Make sure it's in place. Because you don't want to screw it down and then what happens is you have these little plastic pegs they're not seated properly and then you go to screw it in and then you crack those plastic pegs then this printer board won't be aligned with this here and then you're going to have all kind of problems all right so make sure you're aligned properly before you screw it in okay all right moving on to that last screw here all right So, now, you got a pile of screws here. Uh, what you're going to look for is Torx T10 screws. You should have four of them. Well, you'll probably have more, but you're going to need four to put the drive back on, or to put the printer carriage back on. So, you got two in the back. It's in this one here, you got the fronts, okay? If you look carefully, you're not, you're going to notice that there's, a, there's no screw hole. This piece right here, it gets loose. This holds your, um, this holds the laser that checks if your cartridges are real or not. Just push it in, push it in, and slide, okay? Expose the screw holes, the threads here. Okay, so I'm gonna try my best to one hand this here. Move the carriage. Let's see here. You know what? I'm gonna pause. I'll be right back, alright? One second, guys. 
All right, I'm back. Uh, we're moving on to basically I put on these two screws already. Uh, moving on to the back side again. Push it in. You see right here. Push it in. Slide it in. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Okay. One down. Let's take a look here. Okay. One and last one. Okay. Now, after you get all this screwed in, you're gonna have to do an alignment on your drive. And the way that that works is. These two screws here that you removed earlier, you're gonna put them back on. You put the screws back on, but you don't tighten them too tight. Just a little bit. Let me pop this screw back in and I'll show you in one second. Give me one second here. Don't be a pain, come on. Oh, it helps to have friends, huh? <laughs> okay, uh, let's see here. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna screw this in just enough. Let's see here. Okay. And we're going to screw it in tight. All right, and then unscrew it about maybe about one and a half turns. Okay. What you want to do is you want to make it so that way, even though everything is screwed in, this drive can still move. Okay. Your goal is to have this drive floating in here. Okay. Take your cover, put it back on. Okay. like that don't forget that cord in there see that cord dangling put it back on all right once you do that I'm not going to show you because it's common sense once you do that put your discs in your tray get your calibration tool or just go burn a DVD okay what's going to happen is your your things going to come down going to come down it's going to pick it up your tray's going to eject all right next thing you know your hands your arms going to go over here Okay, it's going to stop and it's going to drop the disc. You want the disc to hit dead center. To do that, you might have to move your drive in just a little bit or out just a little bit. As you can see, you got you got some leeway here, yeah. Now, once you get that exact point where you want it to be, take your two screws and make them really tight. Okay? Really tight right here. And then you go in the back and you're going to tighten those screws. As you can see, I'm going to try to see if I can show you. This, um, those screws, can you see it moving? That's the alignment for your drive. All right. Once you get those two screws tightened, everything is finished. You're all done. Okay. All set and complete. Okay. So that is the changing your DVD drive. If you run into any problems, a couple things you should check. Make sure that uh, when you remove these two screws, that you didn't somehow knock or ajar this uh, light sensor. If you damage this light sensor, you can't print. Okay. Um, don't forget your connections. Uh, on my unit, they originally had hot glue on here. As time went by, it dried off. It fell off. I just got rid of it. If you're having uh, connection issues, maybe you can just dab some hot glue again. This is for your printer. This is for your DVD drive. Okay. And uh, if you notice that your robotic arm is not properly centered or things just don't seem to be right, double check that you didn't uh, lose your alignment. Um, even though these two screws screw in, 
there's little pegs on here. If they don't flush through the system, see these pegs right here? One, two, three, four. If they're not flush, your printer will be slightly tilted and that might cause some problems, okay? After that, you're good to go. All right, this is Dark Flame 808 um, with a DVD changing tutorial. Coming up will be refurbishing your printer. Stand by.